In this lesson, we'll go through two examples where we use graphical analysis to determine the rate constant for a reaction. This will be done using the second order integrated law. The first question reads, consider the equation for the decomposition of nitrogen dioxide. The concentration of nitrogen dioxide is monitored at fixed temperatures as a function of time during the decomposition reaction and the data are tabulated in the margin. Show by graphical analysis that the reaction is not first order and that it is a second order. Determine the rate constant for the reaction. Before we begin graphing, let's take a look at this. This column will be our x-axis for our graph, and this column will be our y-axis. Once we've graphed this data and found the ln of each of these numbers, because that's what you're supposed to do if you're determining if it's a first order reaction, if the data doesn't come out straight, as in a straight line, then it's not a first order reaction. The next test is you take the reciprocal of each of these numbers. And after graphing that data with x, and it turns out to be a straight line, then it is a second order reaction. Let's go ahead and test that idea out. First, we have to plot each of these numbers found in this table in Excel. I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. Now we move on to the second column and you have to make sure that each of these numbers on the Y column are logged to the base E or logged. So I'll write them out and then write in a formula that will automatically log each of these observations. Okay, now that I've recorded both the X and the Y coordinates, I'm going to log each of these numbers and to do that, I'll write in a formula where I take the natural log of this cell. That gives us the following number, and I'll copy and paste that to each of these cells. Wonderful. Now I can plot A versus C, and if we don't get a straight line, then it is not a first order reaction. It looks somewhat straight, but it's not perfectly straight. So our next test is to take the reciprocal of all of column B. And we can do that by saying equals one over this number. And let's copy and paste that for each of these cells. Now let's compare column A and D. Notice that this gives us a graph that is more straight. So I'm going to approximate this with a straight line and you can do that by adding a trend and then subsequently displaying the equation. The equation looks like this, where we have y is equal to 0.2551x plus 99.987. There you go, I've recorded it nice and clearly right here. And from this, we can actually determine the rate constant. The rate constant will be the slope. So the rate constant for this reaction is 0.2551, and for second order reactions, the units are in one over molars times seconds. In question number two, we're asked, use the graph in the best fitting line in the previous example to predict the concentration of NO2 at a time of 2000 seconds. We can, of course, use the graph and extrapolate that information, but we can also use this information, where I set x as 2000, 0 0.2551 times 2000, plus, let's just approximate that to 100. Let's find y, 0 0.2551 times 2000 plus 100, and this gives us 610.2. Now don't be fooled into thinking that that's the answer. Because remember what we did, we actually took the reciprocal of the concentration. So now we do the same thing here. Think of it like this. 610.2 is equal to one over the concentration we're looking for. So we'll take one divided by the answer, and that gives us 0 0.001163, and we can stop at three significant figures where this becomes a four, so 0 0.0164 molars. 
And there you have it. That is how to use graphical analysis to determine a second order reaction.